Hey fourth grade friends, it's Mrs. Herbay. Um, so we're gonna get started on our bird project this week. Um, I hope that last week you were able to listen to the story Counting Birds. And throughout the month of December, um, I thought it would be fun if um, you would want to notice the birds that come to your backyard um, when you're out in your yard or when you're looking out the window or when you're walking around your neighborhood. And like they did in the story, if you wanna keep track, it might be fun for us to see what kind of birds are living in our area. And I also hope you had a chance to look at the PowerPoint um, that showed you kind of some strategies for drawing birds. And also um, it had a lot of photos of birds that are native to Pennsylvania. So what we're going to do is for our project, you guys are going to be able to choose one of the birds that is native to Pennsylvania. And you can use one of the photos from the PowerPoint as a reference, or if you want to, you can look at the poster um, at the very beginning of the PowerPoint and you can choose one of the birds and you can Google um, that bird's name and find a photo of a you know that that you like of that bird to also draw. So those are a couple different options for you. In your teacher packet this week, you should have found um, this uh, little thing. Um, it's a piece of black paper, a piece of metal, and a piece of copy paper that's the same size as the metal. What we're going to be um, needing today is we're going to be needing the white piece of paper and the piece of metal and then you're going to um, put aside the black piece of paper um, in a safe place we'll, we'll need that for um, not this week but for um, in a later week so what we're gonna do is before we get started though I wanted to if you didn't get a chance to practice I wanted to demonstrate for you two different strategies for drawing birds and if you noticed from the photos um, this past week, there were sort of two different um, kind of body types for birds. There was one where um, the bird uh, was not quite, the, the bird was kind of longer and not quite as wide. And then there were others where the bird was really, much wider. I'm going to grab a photo. So for example, like this picture, the bird is a lot shorter and wider. So I'm going to show you two different strategies for drawing um, these types of birds. And we can practice in our sketchbooks or just on a regular piece of paper if you haven't done it. I'm going to demonstrate that first and then um, we can go, we can start to talk about drawing our bird for the project. So grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and here we go. All right, so there's a couple basic shapes that you need, that you need to know how to draw. And if you can draw those shapes, you can draw a bird. And what those basic shapes are is basically this watermelon slice, or it's also the letter D, which we know everyone can draw the letter D. So if you can draw the letter D, you can draw a bird's body. And then a circle. We can all draw circles. And then there is a teardrop shape or raindrop, or even it can be an ice cream cone. And the last and last but not least, it is this shape right here for a tail. So if you can draw those shapes, you can draw a bird. So let's take a look. Um, if the bird's body is wide and short, then um, we're going to draw the bird one way. And I'm going to show you the, the strategy first. So what I want you to do first is I want you to look and see what line is the back of the bird's body? And if I look at this bird, the line is diagonal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw that diagonal line. 
and so I'm drawing it um, about as long as I see and I'm drawing it in the direction that I see. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the curve that comes off of that. And in this case, the curve, if I drew it like this, that wouldn't be right because it's not wide enough. I'm going to leave that there actually. And then I'm going to curve out more like that. And that's more like the curve. So what I'm going to do is then I'm just going to go ahead and erase this other curve. All right. Now here's another really fun, simple tip. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to round off the corner of this watermelon shape, watermelon slice shape. And voila, I have instantly created the bird's body shape, which is pretty cool. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the wing and the tail. So when I think about the wing, the wing, the wings always kind of are on the side of the body. And so I'm going to look and see where does that curve start. And in this case, it kind of starts right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that curve. And I'm going to just draw the top of it. Okay. And then I'm going to think about where it's going. And then as I do that, I'm going to add the bottom part of that curve. And you can kind of adjust it once you get it kind of sketched in there like that. And then last but not least, I'm going to add the bird's tail. And you can erase in there like that. Okay. And then I'm going to look and see where is the bird's eye. And it's about right here. And then last but not least, the bird's beak, which kind of comes like this. And then I'm going to erase the inside part right there. So there we have it. And then I'm also going, in the case of this bird, the it has, this is called, I think, a black cap chickadee. So it has this line. I'm going to put this line here for this, the black part of the head. And then I'm also going to draw this shape here. This is kind of like the, the bottom part there. And then I'm noticing that the top part of the head has a little more curve like that, so I'm just adjusting that. Okay. And then when I think about the wings and um, showing the feathers, the top part of the wing, the feathers are rather large, so I'm going to draw curved lines like this. And then as it works its way down, the feathers get a little bit narrower and smaller and then they're really narrow but they're a lot longer down here so there we have it and then another thing I can think about is that the rest of the birds as far as texture goes the rest of the birds feathers are kind of like sh shown by drawing sort of little lines and that's going to be important when, so it's just kind of showing a little bit of the bird's feather texture. I can go ahead and add these little lines here like that. Okay. Oh, and I also forgot the bird's feet. So I'm going to go ahead and So that's strategy number one. Now if I was going to draw a bird that's a little bit um, longer and thinner like this blue jay, um, I'm just there's just a couple different 
just a couple little tweaks to the strategy. So same thing though, I'm going to look and see what is the line for the back of the bird's body. And that line is horizontal. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that horizontal line. And if I, let's say I drew the horizontal line really short, then that would mean that my bird is going to be very small. If I drew the horizontal line really long, that would mean the bird is going to be really big. So you can kind of gauge, if you're trying to draw the bird the same size as the picture, you can kind of sort of gauge about how long you want to draw that first line. And then next I'm going to draw that curved line that goes here like this to make the watermelon slice. And in the case of this bird, we're not just going to round off the end of the corner there because we need to kind of add the bird's head here. And so what we're going to do is, and we're not going to add it up here, but we're going to add it straight across because the bird's head is kind of coming straight across here. So I'm going to draw a circle on the end of my watermelon slice. And I'm just kind of drawing it lightly and roughly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the inside. And then now it looks like the head's kind of attached to the body. And what I can do is I can also kind of curve where it attaches there. And then if I curve this line here, it looks a little more professional. And then in the case of my blue jay, I need to add the tuft that is on the top of his head. And then I'm going to erase this line here because it kind of comes up a little bit more jaggy and then goes around like that. And then I'm going to draw the eye. And then I'm coming across. And then drawing the beak. And then the eye on the blue jay is a little bit different, it kind of. And then same thing as then now the strategies are going to go back to the way we did it before where I'm going to look and see where is this wing. And so I see it's kind of starting right in here. So I'm going to draw that curve first and then I'm going to add the end on second. All right. And then I'm going to draw up and add the tail. And then last but not least, I add the feet. And there we go. And then I'm going to, on the blue jay, I'm going to add the feathers. Actually, I need to erase them there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the feathers. And on the feather, tail feathers here, there's these little bands. So I'm going to draw those bands. And then I'm going to draw the feathers on the wing. on the swing there's like a like that okay 
And then there's a little bit that kind of where the blue is turns into the white. So there we have it. So that's kind of what practicing the two different strategies are. And there's a lot of birds where their bodies are shorter and wider where you might use this strategy. And then there are a lot of birds where the body is a little bit longer and um, narrower and you would use this strategy. Um, you can also you can kind of add some lines there for the feathers and same thing like on this bird we can add some lines for the feathers. Okay, So once you feel confident and you've looked at all the different bird photos of birds in Pennsylvania and you feel like you've found a bird that you really really like then what we're going to do is you're going to take your this square piece of paper and this is the piece of paper that we're going to draw the bird that you kind of are really um that you really really like um on this piece of paper so i'm going to grab a photo that i like and then we'll get started drawing our birds on the good paper all right guys so i grabbed this um photo of a woodpecker and that's the photo that I'm going to use to draw on um, the, the piece of copy paper that's square and so what you want to do is you want to kind of figure out how big do you want your bird and you can kind of turn the paper like if I want to get a little bit more space I can kind of turn it um, diagonally um, so you can kind of figure out or I can kind of um, do it this way to kind of fit the bird in it's totally um, it's totally up to you now again the first thing that you're going to look at is what is the line for the bird's back and the line for this particular bird's back is a diagonal line so I'm going to go ahead and draw that diagonal line and another thing to remember is and we talked about this before if I drew this diagonal line this short right and then I put my curve, my woodpecker is going to be very, very small. You want to try to work as big as possible just because it makes it, it it's going to make it easier for um, our project. But um, we don't need to make the bird as big as the whole huge piece of paper. So I'm just, I'm going to make my diagonal line about that big. Um, and then, actually I'm going to put it a little bit because I need to leave room for the head and the beak. Okay, So I'm going to go about that, um, that big with the diagonal. And right away you'll be able to kind of see. And then I'm going to draw my curved line, making my watermelon slice. And it might take you a couple passes to get um, a curve that you like and then I'm going to look and see okay where is the woodpecker's head and if I kind of turn I'm kind of turning my um, the back to angle the same as the back here and it's kind of showing me that the head is like right here so I'm going to go ahead and draw my circle and I was just kind of sketching it in and so I'm drawing nice and lightly and then once I think I like it I'm going to erase the inside part here so that now the head's attached but then I'm also going to curve sort of curve out those corners so now it looks a little bit more professional and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see where is the woodpecker's eye and I can see that it's right here so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that and then I'm going to add the beak like right there And then I can start to think about where is that feather 
or that feather. Where is the wing? And the wing is kind of like curved kind of right, kind of right up here, right? So I'm going to draw that curve and then I'm going to draw the the bottom part of it. So there's that curve. And then I'm going to add the tail. And then I'm also going to then look at the markings on the woodpecker's head. And I'm just going to, as I'm looking at the photo, I'm just making a few adjustments. And I notice there's this line that kind of is where the black is, and then it kind of goes around the eye and then comes down here by the head and then it's there's a little bit of red right there and then there's another little bit of black that kind of comes here and comes down like that all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the lines for the feathers. And there we go. And they're getting thinner. Then I'm going to add the legs and the feet. And it looks like the other foot is kind of the feet. And there we have it. And then I'm going to sort of put these little marks for the feathers. Okay. Okay, then once you have added all the details and you feel good about um, your bird drawing, then what we're going to do is we are going to take it and we are going to tape it to the piece of metal. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to go ahead and do that and then I will show you the final step, at least for today. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to tape your drawing to the piece of metal that I also gave you guys. If you have masking tape, that works the best to keep the paper stuck to the metal. And if you guys remember from last year, we are going to transfer this bird drawing into the metal. And what we need to do is we're going to go back over our lines with our pencil. But if we did it on a hard surface, there wouldn't the, um, the metal wouldn't be able to pop out. And so what we want to do is we want to either get a magazine or um, like some felt or some newspaper 
and we're just going to kind of put the um, the the metal and the paper on top of that and if you remember from last year when we made our hearts then what we're going to do is we are just going to trace over what we drew and after I go over that line there you'll see if I turn my paper over see how I'm making an indent into the metal which is what we want to do so I'm going to carefully trace over all of my pencil lines and if you feel like you haven't gone over it good enough the first time you can kind of um, go back over it a second time and when you turn it over it'll kind of tell you whether you've pushed hard enough or not and sometimes you just need to go over it one more time for it to show up kind of so I'm gonna keep doing this and I want you to do the same and then um, once we finish that I'll tell you what's next All right, guys, as you can see, I have my whole bird. Um, I went over my whole bird, and I'm kind of looking to see how I did with getting um, the back of it to be raised. And I did pretty good, but I'm noticing if I look closely, the eye um, isn't really showing up. So I'm actually taking a, a ballpoint pen, which has a little bit of a stronger um, point. And then I was really working that and now see how you can see the eye so much better. So that's one of the things you can do um, once you get your bird kind of carved into the metal. You can kind of go back and if you notice areas like I noticed right in here, it's maybe not quite as um, carved in. I'm just carefully going back over my lines and then making them stand out a little bit more. So um, go ahead and do that. And then that's all that we are going to do for this week. Um, so make sure you get your bird really nice and um, carved into the metal. Um, and it may take, um, I used a pencil for the first time I did it. Um, and you may want to, I know last year we used a ballpoint pen, so you might want to use a ballpoint pen initially um, so that it might um, you might get more of um, a relief um, from the ballpoint pen and I look forward to talking to you guys um, on Monday and um, hope you had a great week.